What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Actually, um, I'm taking my wife and my daughter's cars. Uh, just checking on them, making sure they gassed up and washed. Because I got to head down to the city in the beginning of the week. And, um, you know, make sure that everything is good before I do that. And so before I get to taking care of business from a work perspective, I always got to make sure that my girls is uh, straight and that they don't need anything. But while... While I'm doing that, I want to have a conversation with you guys, and hopefully I can add some value into your life. Her windshield washer fluid is low for whatever reason, so we're going to take care of that also. But women have this common misconception that men are afraid of them. It's the biggest lie ever. It's not true. Never was true. Um, never will be true guys are not afraid of you at all we just don't feel like being bothered well at least that's the sentiment that i get from a lot of guys is that uh y'all take apple pay right yes yeah is that they just don't feel like being bothered exactly. with all of the foolishness that come along with dealing with certain women because uh the attitudes be bad and it's a sense of entitlement and then it gets 10 times worse when you're talking about you good? Thank you. It gets 10 times worse when you start talking about um, aligning yourself just based off of color. So the expectation, especially if you listen to somebody like a Umar Johnson, the expectation is that you're automatically supposed to roll with somebody just because they look like you. Well, that's an old narrative because that was all based off of proximity. So before people had options and before there was a a whole bevy of different opportunities for people to be able to come in and do whatever it is that they're doing. People usually married based off of proximity, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but it was partially a good thing because you didn't have as many options or people wasn't distracted by so many different things that was happening on social media. So in a general sense, you had uh, people aligning themselves with people that was going in the direction that they was going and it was more equally yoked than they are before and it doesn't mean that you know people wasn't breaking up or they wasn't having issues back then but you didn't have as many issues because people weren't distracted by things that wasn't relevant to them and it wasn't until I really got on the internet until I realized or really started participating on social media um, until I realized that yo people are really wilding out and women really are having issues and all of these women are giving each other bad advice and, and it's not going to lead to a fruitful situation for most people and that's unfortunate because the key to success in life for most women is to align themselves with a good man and then they become the beneficiaries of that man's greatness right so why would you why would you want to do the same things that I do because I certainly don't want to do the same things as you. I can. That don't necessarily mean that I feel like it. I would never want to do the same thing. Why would you want to be out here getting your own gas, filling up your own windshield washer fluid, going to get your own oil changes, or even being in a position? I mean, and it's not difficult. Like, it's not like you can't do it. And obviously, we can use some other examples, um, you know, in order to really, really be able to have these conversations. I need to get a funnel. So I'll spill all of that over we can use some other examples in order to illustrate our point a little bit more but why would you and see women lead with that and they act like oh man you know guys are, are, are scared of us because we're strong women no we don't feel like being bothered and why would a guy want to be bothered with a bad attitude like that you know what I'm saying got one down about to be done with this one shortly this one is all taken care of I've already got the Got the car wash for this one. Had to go and take my daughter's to get a car wash. Now this one is washed, so all I gotta do is gas it up because there's nothing else to do to it. No windshield washer fluid used up, but yeah, man, all of that bad attitude stuff, like I don't even like doing stuff uh, for regular strangers. And I'm gonna tell you that puppy love, let's say hypothetically you get into a situation shit with a chick and y'all feeling each other or whatever, and. You know, you put up with it initially because it's cool. But then after a minute, you know, that sense of entitlement and all of that bad attitude stuff, 
that stuff start wearing off. And you get into a situation where y'all actually got to start living together and existing with each other and, you know, having conversations and it all goes to hell. And then I'm starting to hear about guys living a soft life or kind of some kind of soft life era or something like that. And so I looked into it a little bit and it's basically guys, um, well, it's kind of two different sentiments, right? And I'm guessing one of them is a more of a joke, but I'll, I'll deep dive into it a little bit more. The first one is kind of like, yo, chilling with a chick that is taking care of them, maybe even get to the point to where they may even be going 50-50 or whatever. But guys basically taking on a role of looking at women for what they really want, and that's them being equal, right? And so you kind of live in more of a soft, soft life era where you're not putting as much effort into being more of a traditional man because women have advocated for equal and they not traditional women anymore. And then obviously there's more extreme versions of it and stuff like that. But if you are a guy, look at it from this perspective, ladies, because I think one of the problems is that women only look at it from their lens. And so when you so centrally located from looking at it from one way, it's difficult for you to actually get what you want because you're not looking at it from the perspective of a person that's actually looking to court you and ultimately marry you, right? So if I'm an employer, right, or if I'm a person looking to get a job, one of the biggest ways that people go wrong is that they're looking at it from the lens of the person that's the applicant. They're looking at it as the person, the employee, the person that's trying to become the employee. And so when you're looking at it from that perspective, you're only looking at other employees. But if I'm looking at it from the lens of the employer, then first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask myself, well, if I'm looking to work here, similarly to you wanting to be in, wanting to get into it with a man, if I'm looking to work here, what is it that they actually want from me? What does this man want from me? What does this employer want from me in order for me to actually get it? Because men control access to marriage. And if a guy wants sex from you, then he gotta meet a certain expectation, right? And so you don't let him slip on that or at, at all. And if you want your cars being taken care of or your cars even being paid for because my girls, they don't have the same problems as regular chicks, right? They not sitting out here trying to figure out how, how they gonna get stuff together, uh, even how they gonna pay their car. No, it's fucked up out here, honestly. It is really, really messed up. There's so many people getting evicted, inflation, wages is actually down. And then when people actually get a boost in wages, you don't really feel it because inflation is so high and so your cost of living goes up so much so much and my girls don't experience that right and so you got to ask yourself what is it the person wants or what is it that they want and then you're gonna get it reciprocated and then you ultimately benefit from it also so if i'm looking at it and i'm saying what is it that she needs and i'm fulfilling that obligation and she doing the same but the roles is is different because it's not really equal when you're looking at it from a husband wife perspective most people are saying that they want partners, not that they want husbands and wives, then you're gonna have a completely different outcome. And so, you know, just think about that for a second. You know what I'm saying? Stop saying dumb shit. Stop saying, well, men want this or men only want that and all of that stuff. That's not true. You don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you ask the men or have a conversation with men that's in the spaces that you want to be in. And then first, you probably got to get yourself to the point to where you can actually attract the thing that you are. And then secondly, because your expectations might be a little bit crazy. And then secondly, start having a conversation with what men want and then start fitting that narrative and then you might become a wife or not. You can do what you want to do. But if you want the results and you actually want to live a soft life, it's a method to that. I love you. I appreciate y'all. I wish y'all the best. I I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.